Hey you guys, it's Queen D here and I'm back with another video. So today is day four and I have did an excellent, amazing job of just accepting myself and loving on myself and on my family, just being there for my family, doing whatever it takes to make myself feel better and to stay in this positive spot that I'm in. Last night, though, I did have a mental breakdown, an emotional breakdown. And you know what? I understood that I was going through the five stages of grief. I had already experienced denial. I had already experienced uh, 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 anger. I had already experienced everything other than the last step which was acceptance so um one of the, the things that has really helped me get through this tough time is watching uh the r spot the r spot with ayanla benzent and i i love it i love it i love it i love it but last night's video uh kind of brought some things to my attention. I had thought that I had gotten rid of everything that he had uh, left here, but come to find out, I didn't after I washed clothes. So I still had all of these clothes here. And you know what? I watched the R spot last night and she was just saying that, you know, you have to get rid of everything because all of those things have, uh, they carry energies. So that's exactly what I did. I packed up all of the rest of the stuff and I dropped it off at one of his family members' house. Didn't tell him nothing, just dropped it off. Uh, but for me, that was like my funeral of the situation. Like y'all, I cried so hard. I cried so hard. Like just having to sit there and accept the fact that that was it. That was over. It was no going back. That was a big thing for me. But like I said, watching those videos and actually allowing myself to feel all of this so that I can actually heal from it and just get to this place today where I just don't care anymore that's what helped me that and some steve harvey videos uh motivational videos on faith and you have not because you ask not so after i did all of that packing and crying all that i could possibly cry i uh wrote down me a new list a new list of goals and i told god last night that god look i'm about to put you to work okay you say we have not because we asked not okay well let me get very specific with what i want in life in a relationship and a family and just everything every every bit of my life from relationships with my with my dad with my mom with my sisters uh nephews everybody like Family is what's important, and I'm nothing without my family. So, I'm just, you know, learning every day. I'm learning, I'm growing every day, and I'm just trying to remain, like I said in the beginning of this video, in this positive state that I'm in, okay? And I feel a lot better. Like I said, I do feel a lot better after allowing myself to go ahead and bury the situation to where... This one guy came over today and asked me, was was he still here? In my business, don't do that. And I was like, uh, yeah, no, he went back home to his family or whatever you want to call it. Baby mama or whatever. He went back over there and I was okay. And you know what? The guy was like, yeah, don't let nobody uh, stop you from living your dreams, blah, 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 blah. And I just... I didn't want it to come off like I was bitter or angry because at that point, I really wasn't. And I said, you know what? To be honest, I don't wish him no bad luck. I don't wish them no bad luck. I wish them nothing but the best. And, you know, I'm happy that he is back with his children. And it is what it is, you know? I'm okay. I can take care of myself. My kids are happy. We good. 
Like, I know for sure, for sure that I have worked so hard within these past few days to just get over. And I know it, is t- it takes a lot of people much longer than it did, it did for me. But, I mean, you know, I feel like it's still early. You know, you're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days. But just try to do whatever it takes. Listen to some gospel music if you have to. Whatever it takes to just keep your energy in the right spot. In the, in the right place, you know? You're going to get through it, you know? Life goes on. I got a new list of goals and desires and wants that I'm asking and believing God for. And, you know, this is not the end. Like I said, this is it's the end of an era, but the beginning of something so beautiful. And I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to continue to grow and continue to just be the best version of myself that I could possibly be. So that's it for today. Love you guys. Peace. Excuse me. My sister got a graduation today, so that's the only reason why I'm cute. Otherwise, I'd have came up here raggedy. Look at this. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't gonna lie. Food make me so happy, okay? I love food. That's why, you know, if y'all see me getting a little thick here and a little thick all around here, that's why, because I'm eating.